Hello, thanks for joining us on BOI Impact. I'm Shim Olagunju. As the foremost development finance institution in Nigeria, the Bank of Industry has the mission to transform Nigeria's industrial sector by providing financial and business support services to enable new business emerge and existing enterprises thrive. For the past few weeks, we've been showcasing various BOI beneficiaries that were supported in 2020. These beneficiaries were drawn from the large, medium, small and micro enterprises. Please stay with us as we bring you more inspiring reports from more of the bank's beneficiaries. Located at Plot 16, Patrick Yakua Expressway off Kachia Road, Kaduna, Chemtech Projects Industries Limited is a leading manufacturer and marketer of fast-moving consumer and car care products. The company, with its state-of-the-art infrastructure, produces high-quality products such as Victory Multipurpose Liquid Detergent, Jill Car Wash, Jill Wash Detergent, and so on. The general manager of the company, Mr. Kingsley Odenwo, spoke more on the company's products. For some years back now, we look at here in the north, particularly, um, they have not really been a particular product that is being used to wash cars. And so many people go about using all manner type of products to wash their cars. And in turn of it, you find out that the paint on the car begins to fade away over time. And people keep going, spending money for you know, respraying their cars all over. So we, we thought it wise to be able to bring in a product that would be of an assistance to our people in the northern um, areas here to be able to see that each of their cars have been taken care of by having a proper product that will clean and bring in glittering to what they use, which will also make them, you know, feel relaxed. Each of our products has been certified by the standard organization of Nigeria and equally with NAVDAC. So each of our products we have has these standards with them. So it gives confidence to the users of the product. He revealed how the company utilized the loan facilities granted by the Bank of Industry and the impact on the company's employability and production capacity. It has been um, great um, knowing um, back of industry and knowing the help that the benefit that we've gotten from um, Bank of Industry because without them won't have been where we are presently now. Before we came in relation with um, BOI, we've been buying our plastic containers from other companies, and they've been disappointment sometimes. And for, for them coming in to support and to give us this, we'll find out that it has really helped for us producing our own bottles, reducing the cost of what we are putting in outside, and getting the best of what, which has also enhanced the benefit of our staffs. You know, because sometimes, um, I remember uh, there are sometimes we work and sometimes there are no work because of the challenges we face before now and we we'll just ask the staff to just stay by. And when they stay by, there is nothing like salary, there is nothing like anything for them. But because of the help of the BOI and the relationship that we have, for them giving us this thing, it has really boosted the support the workers are working steadily from day one of each month to the last day of, um, of the month and they get their benefit. And apart from that too, what we are getting, producing the bottles on our own too, is re increasing our capacity, increasing our finances and helping us to move forward, you know, to be able to get in into much more better things because we are into auto care and you know when we talk about auto care apart from the car wash 
and some other products that we have, we also have things like engine oils, ATFs. Those are all auto care products that we, we will be in need of to give to our client outside. So with the help of what they've done for us, it will give us a boost to be able to step further into um, the process more. We've had calls from clients, from customers, users of the product, calling in into the office that your product is excellent. But in fact, we've had so much calls from Portacot, so much calls from Abuja, so much calls from KB, so much calls from Sokoto, so much calls from all over the state commending the quality of the product that is coming out from Chemtech Project Industry. And I know by so doing, is boosting the morale of our clients and pushing their minds out from what comes out from, from outside and making them have a better patronage with what is produced in the country. Let's go just to show you about the things that we do here in Chemtech Project Industries. This is a capacity of a new um, machine that we got and assisted from, from Bank of Industry. In the normal machines that we have here in the country, you find out that you can only get a bottle per each time. But now we have two of it coming out at a time. And giving back the other two again at the other hand. So this is a very good and an excellent technology that we are operating with here in Chemtech Project Industries through the help of Bank of Industries. So with this one now you can see that the process, a digital process of what is operating. Instead of getting um, maybe in an hour, getting maybe about um, 80 to 100 pieces. On this one now, we get about 500 in an hour. We really want to appreciate the federal government for really um, coming out in uh, helping entrepreneurs, you know, coming out so that they can actually meet the lack of um, jobs av uh, not available, you know, within the nation, within each state, because it starts, you know, from the state and it builds up to the whole, um, to the whole nation. So I see um, the initiation that what the federal government has given is really of help, you know, to entrepreneurs. Then apart from that, again, now to BOI as an organization too, as a body too, has really been of a help to us. Not just of help. If there is any word bigger than help, I will I'll just see, you know, use that word. And you know, and with the whole team, actually, of um, BOI, I want to say thank you. And I know that from here, we are going somewhere with the initiation and with the help that BOI has given to us as an organization. And I know that when we knock the door again, it will be open much wider for us. Cafo Mines was incorporated in 1956 as a mining company. In 2008, the company diversified into the production of fertilizers with the capacity to produce 16,000 metric tons per annum. With the assistance of BOI, the company acquired a new plant to produce an additional 50,000 metric tons per annum. The managing director of the company, engineer Seidu Mohammed, tells us more. We went into fertilizer production in 2008, beginning with organic fertilizer, And we proceeded and uh, increased in our uh, production brands to inorganic fertilizer. That is the chemical fertilizer, NPK. 
who are running at a capacity of about 16,000 metric, 16, metric tons per annum before the intervention of uh, Bank of Industries who funded us to acquire new facility that capacitated us to start producing wet blending NPK fertilizer. That is the chemical fertilizer. Right now, the plant you are seeing is a wet blended chemical fertilizer plant. Nigerian consume over 2.5 million tons of fertilizer annually. Our plant has come to fill the gap of over 50,000 metric tons per annum. Previously, we were operating at 16,000 metric tons per annum with our old facility. With the new facility, we now have a capacitated plant, new plant, to produce NPK fertilizer at 50,000 metric tons per annum. And in addition to 16,000 metric tons, we can now roll out from the new plant funded by Bank of Industry Limited, 66,000 metric tons per annum. If a customer comes today looking for 90 metric tons of goods, we will make it available to them as at when due. He tells us how the company is bridging the unemployment gap. We are able to increase our staff strength, you know, uh, assisting in uh, generating more employment to the unemployed. The skill, both skill and unskill, and the indirect level in terms of loading, and other aspects, transportation and other aspects. We are using a direct staff of almost about 200 previously, before this time, now we we'll have a staff strength of over 350 personnel. We wish to show our, high, uh, our appreciation to Bank of Industry and the, government, the federal government of Nigeria that created the Bank of Industry, the management of Bank of Industry for coming to our aid as, at, as at when we need it most. Engineer Seydou Mohammed narrated how the company strives to meet global standards in the production of fertilizers. We are maintaining standard, actual uh, international standard for our fertilizer production. The equipment are computerized, self-selective in terms of input applications in the course of our production and uh, in our process line. We have a batching plant for all the component parts, selected automatically and electronically driven into the mechanical system. After the interview, engineer Seyidu Mohammed showed us the production process of the fertilizer. Uh, you're welcome to Kapo Mines NPK wide blended uh, manufacturing plant funded by Bank of Industries, a plant capacitated to produce 50,000 metric tons per annum on two ships. Here you have the conveyor taking the finished goods and the cool product from the cooler to the screen, that is the size separation unit. Size separation unit. And here you have your coating machine. It's a customized system. Where well, some customers demands for coated product, we coat. Where well, some customers demand on coated product, we don't coat. Like the FAO, which demands, that is Food and Agricultural Organization, that demands uh, a brown finished product in color. So it's a customized product. Some demand white product and they're about. So this is the right coating uh, unit that will cut the product to meet customer specifications. Here you have, you have your final conveyor delivering the finished product for packaging. And this is within the range of 1 mm to 4 mm in sizes. Finally, we are at the final point of receiving the finished product. 
NTK 1515 Word Blended for manufactured in a customized form for Food and Agricultural Organization of the United Nations. Funded by different agencies, foreign agencies. The materials, as you can see for yourself, are to be delivered to three states of Northeastern states. Yobe state, Borno state, and Adamawa state. In 25 kg bag. 25 kg bag. Right ahead, we are on their own production to meet up the quantity ordered for. We thank BOI for all this opportunity and giving us the one of the best equipment to meet up with some standard locally, also reducing the importation rate of this very product. And here we are in Nigeria today. A lot might not believe until when you visit the plant to see what actually we are doing. And that is the handwork of Bank of Industry. The Association of Nigerian Development Finance Institutions, ANFI, is the umbrella organization for all development finance institutions, DFIs, in Nigeria. Inaugurated in 1982, the aim of the association is to create a forum for DFIs in Nigeria to discuss and exchange ideas on issues of common interest and provide a platform for members to cooperate in areas of investment, finance and human resource development. These are for the purpose of creating appropriate environment for the operations of the DFIs towards achieving sustainable real sector development. ANFI was created with the primary objective to create a forum for DFIs in Nigeria to discuss and exchange ideas on issues of common interest, while providing a platform for members to cooperate in areas of investment, finance, and capacity building. ANFI has, over the years, cultivated and leveraged on a cordial and effective working relationship with the Association of African Development Finance Institutions, ARTFI, a relationship which continues to strengthen with the current leadership of ARTFI. The current Secretary General of ARTFI, Mr. Cyril Okoye, a Nigerian, used to be the Executive Secretary of ARTFI, hence the enhanced relationship. ARTFI is the umbrella body for development finance institutions in Africa. It was formed in 1975 under the auspices of the African Development Bank. So basically the association is there to promote cooperation among development banks in Africa. And we have member institutions across the continent. ANTFI continues to evolve. ANTFI today has new life breathed into it from a near comatose level, caused partly by lack of funds and dwindling commitment from members. It was not always that way. ANFI was a vibrant body, deeply committed to its mission and vision of being a leading advocator for virile real sector development in Africa. Several fruitful meetings between heads of DFIs in Nigeria and key stakeholders constantly held to chart the way forward. When I was in ANFI, it used to be very, very vibrant because um, we, we, we worked towards connecting all the investment companies, the development finance institutions in Nigeria, and we were able to contribute extensively to policy issues and uh, to advocacy as it relates to development financing. And today, the story gets better. ANFI is well aware that DFIs have the responsibility to mobilize and direct resources to growth sectors, helping to reduce infrastructure and energy gaps and financing MSMEs and industrialization, all of which are pivotal to development. So, it is set to reactivate and continue to play that important role with massive support from the chairman and board of ANFI. Now we are talking of sustainable development goals as an agenda, global agenda for development, and national governments are keen into this agenda in shaping their 
development agenda. We're also talking about climate finance, climate related issue, and going green. These are current development issues. We're also talking about sustainability. So the association will be very, very important in shaping the investment companies, in shaping the development finance institution towards achieving this national global development agenda. No doubt, Enfi has had funding challenges. However, with a new vigor to reposition the Secretariat, a new set of hands with fresh ideas on ground to enhance the performance of Anfi. It has lofty, short and long-term plans, including specialized certification workshops and trainings to increase revenue generation and brand promotion. Legislative advocacy to strengthen the role of DFIs in projects conceptualizing and financing, improving its role and participation in Africa, organizing yearly trainings, and organizing yearly international trade business missions, among many others. We can speak in one voice on matters of common interest. We can encourage mutual assistance and investment cooperation among the DFIs. We can invest in training and development of member organizations. We can jointly carry out studies on issues of national economic growth with a view to promoting development in Nigeria. ANFI remains committed to supporting Nigeria's developmental aspirations by contributing extensively to policy issues and advocating for strong collaboration and partnership among stakeholders in spite of challenges, especially funding. This second annual ANFI Exco meeting and General Assembly with the theme Innovative Financing for Sustainable Growth and Development is one of those steps in the right direction. On behalf of the Chairman and Board, Enfi welcomes you to Abuja, wishing you happy deliberation. Now, if those enterprises could do it, you can also do it. Bring your business ideas to us and we will help you bring them to fruition. There are many existing funds and platforms that you could benefit from. In addition to financial support, BOI also provides very useful business advisory and capacity building services, leveraging the bank's strategic partnerships with business development service providers. For more information on how to benefit from the bank's loans and services, log on to www.boi.ng. You can also visit any of our offices nationwide or our various social media pages. I am Shim Olagunju. Thanks for watching.